It's time to find out what the most average country in the world is and we'll be using 5 metrics. How large is the country? How many people live there? What's the average temperature? How rich is the country? And how long do the people in the country live? I took the values for these 5 metrics for all countries and entered them into a spreadsheet. The country with the most typical results will be crowned the most average country in the world. There are 195 countries, so the median, the value in the middle, is 98. In terms of average temperature, Sweden is very far from the median, so it would receive a lot of points. And Algeria is very close to the median, so it would only receive a few points. Just like in golf, the country with the lowest total score after these categories wins. The first metric is size. I found that the median value is Malawi, an African country about the same size as Pennsylvania. Half of all countries are smaller and half are bigger than Malawi. So Malawi receives the lowest amount of points, zero. Vatican City is the furthest from the median on the smaller side. It is 241,000 times smaller than Malawi, very small. And Russia is the furthest from the median on the larger side. It is 144 times larger than Malawi. Both receive 97 points. The next metric is population. In this YouTube short, I found out that the average population size is about 42 million, but the median value is actually a lot lower. Austria, the median country by population, only has 9 million people. And the reason why the median value is so much lower is because the average value is being dragged up by a few countries with a lot of people. The third metric in order to find the most average country is average temperature. Iraq has the median value for average temperature at 22.95 degrees Celsius. It is surprising to me as a Swede that half of the world's countries have a higher average temperature than Iraq, a country known for its hot climate. The lowest average temperature is found in Canada and the highest is found in the West African country of Burkina Faso. Both of these receive 97 points for this category. Does the average country have more money than Iverography's total lifetime ad revenue? Yes, it turns out that the country with the median GDP per person is Jamaica at $7,000. For comparison, the US has a GDP per person of 83,000 and Monaco has the highest GDP per person with $227,000. Burundi has the lowest with $219. The last metric before we find out which country is the most average is life expectancy. Nigeria has the lowest life expectancy with 54 years and Monaco has the highest with 86 years. The median with a life expectancy just under 74 years is Belize. The global average life expectancy has gone up drastically over the last 100 years and that is very good. After reviewing all the data, I can say that the least average country is unusually small, has very few people living there, is colder than most countries, has an exceptionally high GDP per person and a high life expectancy. It is Liechtenstein. Now let's talk about the most average. The third most average country is very average in terms of population, GDP per person and life expectancy, but is too cold to be the most average country. I'm talking about Azerbaijan. The second most average country is incredibly average in a lot of metrics and would be the most average country if it wasn't so large. It is Paraguay. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The most average country is of very typical size. Its population is a bit higher than the median, but it makes up for it by having a very ordinary average temperature, GDP per capita and life expectancy. The most average country is Guatemala.